Casey Musgraves is one of those stars who really has her own distinct style in both her music and her fashion. Not to mention, Casey also seems to bring that eccentricity to any home she lives in, including her love of vintage and never straying too far from her all-American girl roots. And today, we're gonna check out some of the country queen's properties. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Easily one of America's most popular country artists of current times, Casey Musgraves has lived a charmed life since entering the music scene with her early demo, Moving On, way back when in 2002. Born in Golden, Texas, Casey has maintained some extremely close ties to her childhood home, even going so far as to purchase the house she grew up in when it hit the market during the course of her adult life. Over the next few years, Casey would continue to make new memories there, including getting engaged to her now ex-husband, fellow musician Rustin Kelly. After launching the second act of her life from her childhood bedroom, Casey would later find a place in the heart of Nashville, Tennessee. For a few years, Casey would live a fairy tale esque life alongside her husband and totally redecorate the place with her unique sense of style. But not all fairy tales last forever, and unfortunately, Casey split from her hubby and recently placed their former home back on the market. Hey guys, it's Kara back with another exclusive house tour here in Famous Entertainment, this time seeing the properties Casey Musgraves has called home and where she may go from here. Don't forget to like this video, hit that subscribe button if you haven't, and follow me on Instagram to chat. Now let's get into this video. Casey hails from the very small town of Golden, Texas, an unincorporated community about 80 miles east of Dallas. It was in this tiny town that Casey grew up in an extremely modest home located in the eastern part of the state. Not long after establishing herself as the next big thing in country music in the early part of the 2000s, Casey's childhood home was put up for sale at just the right time. Knowing how much this home meant to her mother and the rest of her family, Casey would make it the first big purchase she ever made. Speaking about this decision some years later with Rolling Stone, she would tell them, My childhood home got put up for sale quite a few years back and my mom was devastated. It sits on 47 acres down in East Texas and there was just no possible way that I could see it get put up and turned into a big cul-de-sac neighborhood or something. After buying back the home, Casey would then paint the entire exterior pink in honor of her late grandmother. Not only was pink her grandmother's favorite color, but back when Casey used to live here as a child, her Mima lived in a house located right next door. Casey's mom Karen would also paint a Texas flag on the porch ceiling because, well, that's just something people apparently do down there in Texas. Years after buying this place and fixing it all up, Casey would experience yet another milestone in her childhood bedroom. In 2016, Casey was celebrating Christmas at home with her family and her new boyfriend, Rustin Kelly. When she and her family returned home from a night out celebrating, she discovered that her old bedroom had been done up in retro Christmas decorations by her sister. A moment later, Casey was turning around and discovered Rustin down on one knee with a pink velvet box in his hand. Needless to say, Casey was quick to say yes. The next day on Instagram, she would write, Last night, the best man I've ever met got down on one knee in my little pink childhood home. In the same room, I played with my ponies and Barbies and asked me the easiest question I've ever been asked. I finally know what everyone means when they say, you just know. Of course, Casey and Rustin couldn't simply move into Casey's already tiny home, so they found a place of their own. Shortly after her marriage to Rustin, the couple would move into a modest-sized home in Nashville, Tennessee that Casey had already purchased a year or two earlier. First built back in 1926, this nearly century-old home features just two bedrooms and one bathroom. With about 1,300 square feet of space, this home is probably far smaller than you imagined it would be, 
but it also has the kind of visual appeal that you just can't find in larger homes. For instance, the Southern Style property boasts a spacious concrete porch out front that includes Tiffany blue accents that pop out against the rest of the home's white exterior. Meanwhile, all that strategically placed greenery out front allows for the perfect amount of privacy. Moving inside the home, pictures reveal it to be a small and cozy place with gorgeous original hardwood floors throughout and more than a few notably decorated rooms. Like upstairs, where the master bedroom includes two large windows that allow for a ton of natural light to flood the room in the early morning. Meanwhile, the second bedroom was the perfect storage space for both Casey and Rustin to keep their many musical instruments beside a guest bed. Salvaged French doors lead from the second bedroom to a fantastic sunroom that featured a wood-burning stove. Back downstairs, there's a charming living room that has a wood-burning fireplace all its own and leads directly into a stunningly decorated dining room. Back when Casey and Rustin were newlyweds, Casey hired blogger Elsie Larson to help her totally reinvent this space. Together, they created a living room with a rustic design, including a dining room table purchased from West Elm, which was the first piece that Casey fell in love with and that the rest of the room was built around. After settling on the table, the pom-pom curtains were added to create a whimsical vibe and a vintage rug was added to create a pop of color. Up top, a gilded light fixture served as the finishing touch and offered the perfect ambiance to unwind after a long day of hard work. To separate the dining room from the kitchen, Casey also bought some trendy bar stools from Wayfair. And although she used to keep her record player in the nearby living room, once everything was completed, she moved that into a nook just off from the eating area so that she could listen to whatever she wants to while she's cooking. In terms of the backyard space, if you swing open the wood doors that lead outside, you'll discover a tranquil, screened-in back porch. There's also a fenced-in lot that provides further privacy and scenic views alongside a detached shed. Unfortunately, not every fairy tale lasts forever and this one was no different. By the latter stages of 2020, Casey and Rustin's relationship was ending. As part of their divorce settlement, both parties agreed to sell their former home and to split the proceeds, with Casey receiving roughly 84.4% of the total revenue from the sale. Casey would place this lovely home on the market in late 2020 for the very reasonable price of just $359,000. But to the best of my knowledge, she has yet to find a buyer. In the meantime, it seems like Casey has most likely made her way back to her family home in Golden, Texas. She'd at least be regrouping there through the recent worldwide pandemic, which followed quickly on the heels of the end of her marriage. Well, that about wraps it up for what we know about the homes of Casey Musgrave. So what did you guys think? Honestly, I'm sure it won't be long till we hear about her finding a brand new place all her own, and I for one can't wait to see what she does with her next place. I'm almost certain that Casey will bring her thoughtful and vintage design style with her wherever she moves. Be sure to let me know what you guys thought about her homes down in that comment section. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I will catch you all in the next video. Bye.